My name is Nicholas Rogers and I'm here to talk about the pros and cons of flammable refrigerant. Now, non-flammable refrigerants are way easier to find than flammable. <laughs> um, and non-flammable don't really deplete the ozone layer as, as you would think as much. Some do, some are very, very bad for it. Um, you can use many of these refrigerants as drop-ins and that's probably not the best term to use for that. Um, that's why you use it loosely. Um, and the non-flammable refrigerants list on and on and on and on. You can just name a whole bunch of them. And uh, the EPA would prefer you to use those than flammable, than ones with gas in it. Um, some of the pros are, uh, as in, let's look at MO99. It has butane in it, but it is a replacement for R22. Some systems, old, older systems, still have R22 in it, well, they could have. Um, the flammable Flammable refrigerants are efficient, cheap. They're they are harder to find, but they are cheaper than your regular non-flammable refrigerants. Um, and then we have cons. One of the main cons is it's very flammable. <laughs> um, you wouldn't want to go in on a line fixing wherever you have to put something. You don't want to braze it or um, solder on it without testing for a leak first because something will catch flame. Something could go wrong and then you'd have flames in your face, all kinds of dangerous hazards. Um, most people are also using them in automobiles, vehicles, and most of the designs, they're not designed for um, flammable refrigerants and, and a lot of people are using it called 22A and that has butane in it. Um, and the EPA, they do not want you to really use that in automobiles specifically because if you get into a crash or something were to happen, you could, you could possibly explode and have casualties and very bad things happen. And my opinion is I personally would not use the flammable refrigerants in my system or vehicle or anything like that because of how flammable it possibly is. Um, you would want to check for a leak. Uh, like I said before, I don't want to go in onto my unit or if I'm in the field going to somebody else's unit that possibly has it and, bra and have to braise something and my eyebrows get gone. <laughs> um, MO99 has butane in it and most of these refrigerants like that that are mixed, because MO99 is mixed, it has isobutane, butane, or propane. Those are all the, most of the gases used in refrigerants. And here's some visuals. You have um, the MO99, which is a mixed, you have uh, 507, which is non-flammable, and then you have 134A, which is what most people use in vehicles and other things like that, and it is also non-flammable. And there's my work, and that's it.